Shannon, I can't believe that you have to be on behavior modification and know I have to do this. That's it. It's time that you and I have a nice, warm talk. We need to talk about what you've done. It's time that you stop acting like a real yo-yo. I especially can't believe what you did recently and I have to stop being friends with you. I can't believe that. You will be taught a lesson on how to be mature and you're gonna try to straighten out your behavior in men. For example, don't get lectured over an opinion or what people say to you. Do you want me to give you a lecture on how to be mature? I didn't think so. You will always work and act maturely towards your classmates and friends and maybe you will have a chance to get what you want. You need to realize that you can't always get what you want, Kevin. As of the time I originally wrote this when I was 15, I will put my hand on your shoulder to make sure that you are not jumping. You will not do that in public. I know that this is no longer relevant, but according to my 15-year-old self, this is what I would have said to you. If you are even gonna be doing these things, this will be reported to Alyssa immediately and I mean that. How does that sound? I bet that's going to be hard for you, but I know that you will follow every instruction I give you once I teach you how to be mature. Actually, now that I think about it, there's more I need to tell you. But first, this is what my younger self is gonna tell you. If I find out that you are doing the following, one, jumping up and down and rocking, two, interrupting the teacher and calling out answers, three, saying things over and over again and going away when someone is trying to teach you how to be mature, four, asking questions over and over again and again for necessary reasons, five, asking for help when you do not need it and making people nervous when you should know not to do certain things that are not safe, six, Doing a vibration as if you are a cell phone non-stop. I remember when you would do that non-stop, Kevin. It got so annoying to the point where we all have to disable the vibrations off our phones. Thanks to you, I don't even have it turned on. Kevin, we told you to stop and no matter what you do, we would just continue on again and again. Seven. Getting the tire on such a 3.9999999999 and you can't make up your numbers because that's not pi and you should already know what I have pi is. You know what? Why don't you do me a favor? Look up the digits of pi and use your internet resources. Now get it right. 8. Saying your favorite number is 77 over and over again and saying math problems that equals 77 and doing that in a public area. Nobody wants to hear it. We know that your favorite number is 77, so just rock it. We respect your opinion on your favorite number, but we don't need to hear about your number all the time. Just like me, you don't see me talking about my favorite number all the time, do you? No, I don't. My favorite number is 90, but I'm not gonna talk about it constantly the way that you do. That's all we need to hear about it, and that's that. End of story. 9. Commanding people to do things that they don't want to do. You have also been begging people to do things. Remember the time when you were on a phone call and you wanted me to make that text to speech reduction? I put my foot down and said no for a reason, Kevin. I have a life, you know. I'm a 22-year-old young man, and I'm currently in college. Kevin, you can't expect me to get stuff done for you all the time. I'm just gonna say this. Why don't you get yourself a laptop from the computer lab and download the stuff that you want? You can't depend on me to do everything for you, Kevin. Do you have any idea how long it takes to put this stuff together? It takes such a long time. Kevin, it's not easy. Plus, when I said no to you, you got all mad at me just because I didn't want to put your little production together. I didn't know how to do some of it in the first place. You need to understand that some stuff is hard to find. I see that you tell people what to do. Stop that. Plus, I've noticed that you are demanding people to do things for you that you can do yourself. Kevin, I know I already said this, but I'm gonna make myself clear. You need to be independent of yourself and not rely on people to do things for you. 11. Begging people to hurry up when they can hurry up with whatever they're doing. You can't do that. You already did this to me. Some things can hurry up, especially when it comes to certain things like fixing your computer. Be patient. Oh, and I must mention about my parents. So, I see that you got a hold of my mom. How dare you try to contact my mom when she doesn't need to get herself involved in our business. Kevin, do you realize that I'm a 22 year old adult? I can handle things myself. I didn't give you the right to go contact my mom like that. Kevin, do you know what that's called? That's called being a stalker. You're proving to me right now that you don't act like you're 20 or 21 since your birthday will be coming up soon. 
the school that fails you big time. I'm sorry to hear about your mom and all that, but still, you should know better. Well, say you go letter X. That's enough of that. Why do you need to hear it all the time? I know you don't do that one anymore, but whenever you try to make something, it seems like you want to have things on repeat to the point where it becomes annoying. Seriously, knock it off. Also, we need to talk about your language. So, I heard that you use bad or abusive language towards people, don't you? Kevin, there's a time to do it appropriately and there's a time you shouldn't at all. It seems like you are swearing at people now. Kevin, you need to be careful with what you say, especially if you are gonna be going to college, or if you're gonna get a job. You say that you can take certain words, if you use them. What I took right. Kevin, be nice. Haven't you been taught about not to do that? I don't know who gave you the idea to do that, but whoever did needs to realize that using that kind of language out in public isn't okay in any type of circumstances. 15. Why did you lose your real note? That's kind of what you still do with your computer. I see that you get a kick out of that. You have some explaining to do. 14. Interrupting singing lessons. How dare you do that? I can't believe that you would also bounce in your chair. That can be dangerous. I see that you still jump up and down, uh, apparently you do. 15. Not following whatever directions your teacher wants you to do and you need to go to another destination. Why did you end up doing that? You did that and guess what? You got sent back to your class. Do you want me to review the list again? Okay then, sure, because there's more I need to tell you. Here's another good list of instructions that you must follow. 1. No bouncing. How many times have we told you to stop that? That's not safe. 2. No rocking while standing. That's very unnecessary. Nobody does that. Well, some people do, but they don't do it like you do. The reason why they rock is because they have some sort of disability which affects the muscles. Still, don't do that. 3. No interrupting the teacher. That's very disrespectful and immature of you. How would you like it if I interrupted you? Uh, you need to stop. Stop interrupting Eliza or any other one of your teachers. Listen to me. 4. No calling out during class. You can't call out an answer when other people are already trying to get it. Other people are trying to get the answer, so let them get it and don't call it out. Thanks for giving out the answer. Now everybody who wanted to try has to cheat because of you. Let them figure it out. Maybe that's something you should be doing too. 5. No asking the same question over and over again. We already gave you the answer to the question. How many times do we have to give it out? What's wrong with you? Didn't you ask the question the first time? Didn't you hear us the first time? We just gave you the answer. Sometimes, the answer is gonna have to be no. 6. No begging people to use what they don't want to use. People have a choice on what they want to use on their machines. That's very unacceptable. Everyone can choose what they want, and it doesn't have to be a certain version of something. What if they don't get it or can't find it? Uh, think about that. 7. No making demands on people, especially corporate demands. Nobody wants to do them. They know better than to do that. They don't want to act like you. I know I certainly didn't. 8. No asking someone to do something for you when you've already been told no. You just need to accept the fact that they said no. It's just like what happened between the both of us. I had a reason to do what I did. I knew 